Over the course of the UFC's brief but eventful history, some of the toughest guys and gals on the planet have come up against one another to provide fans with some truly epic battles. But there is intense debate as to which fight is the best of all time, so here are just a few of the contenders. Today we're ranking our 10 best fights in the history of the UFC. Stay with us. First up, it's Johnny Hendricks and GSP. The world wasn't used to seeing Canada's mercurial welterweight champion being beaten up so badly, so when Big Rick laid it on him at UFC 167 back in November 2013, people sat up and took notice. GSP would come out of the fight, controversially, still the champion, but Hendricks couldn't have done much more to convince the judges, as both men left it all in the cage. And it's safe to say, George hadn't experienced that level of violence inside a cage for a very long time, considering the state of his face after the fight. The Canadian managed to win a razor-thin split decision, but this one should be remembered for the fantastic back-and-forth it was rather than the slightly controversial decision it is actually remembered for. Who do you guys think won this one? Next up, it's Griffin versus Bonner. Stay with us for this one, the fight that arguably started it all. Forrest Griffin took on Stephen Bonner in one of the all-time classics back in 2005 on the Ultimate Fighter 1 finale, a fight which is still spoken about today. It's widely acknowledged that the fight was solely responsible for attracting millions of new fans to the sport, and for good reason. Both men absolutely battered each other. The three-round war saw Griffin edge out Bonner with a unanimous decision win, but many believe it was a lot closer than that. A superb slugfest saw both men dominate parts of the fight, but neither had any quit in him. The fight stayed stood up the whole way, and Joe Rogan would refer to it as the Hagler Hearns of MMA fights. Truly superb. Do you guys remember this one? We have Justin Gaethje and Michael Johnson up next. There are some who say Justin Gaethje has never been involved in a boring fight thanks to his all-action style of refusing to take a backward step. And never was this more evident than in his 2017 fight with Michael Johnson on the Ultimate Fighter Redemption Finale. You could arguably fill a list like this solely with Gate G fights, but the Johnson one is almost certainly the standout from his career, considering the fact it was voted 2017 Fight of the Year by numerous different outlets. An undefeated Gate G came up against an experienced Johnson, who found some joy early on by almost finishing Justin. But the highlights recovered to lay it on the lightweight southpaw, scoring a huge TKO win via knees and punches in the second round. Be sure to check this one out if you haven't seen it already. Robbie Lawler and Carlos Condit are coming through now. Stick around. The first of two appearances on our list today for Robbie, the champ took on Condit back in 2016 in another fight many outlets awarded fight of the year. And for good reason. In Robbie's second defense of his welterweight crown, the pair absolutely battered each other for the the duration of the 25-minute fight, with neither letting up. The two were actually meant to fight a year before, but it was a case of better late than never, as they closed the voting for the best fight of the year on just the second day of 2016. An awesome back and forth saw two of the most exciting fighters of their era engage in a crazy striking battle, made even better by the fact they were both in their prime. Lawler just edged out Carlos in a super close split decision win, which fans will remember for the rest of their MMA watching day. Next up, it's Sheikh Congo and Pat Barry. Frenchman Congo went up against Rose's man back in 2011, proving that a fight isn't over until it's over. Having been knocked down and pummeled early in the fight, Joe Rogan declared in a commentary that the fight was over. Not quite, Joe. Czech rallied to drop Barry with a one-punch KO that will long live in the memory, proving that the best UFC fights don't necessarily have to go the distance. This one makes today's list due to the drama of Congo almost being KO'd early in the fight. So if you're new to the sport, do yourself a favor and go back and check it out. Do you, hardcore fans, remember this one? We're talking Hendo and Shoga next. Stick around. Two of the all-time greats went head-to-head -head back in 2011, with Dan scoring a huge decision win in the process, but he was made to work for it. The pair met a light heavyweight at UFC 139 after years of fighting on the same promotion in a pride, but never actually getting booked to fight. And it's safe to say the fight was worth the wait. Hendo and Mauricio both possessed brutal power, and they were hell-bent on showing each other just how powerful they were, as they absolutely mauled each other for 25 minutes. Somehow, they both stayed on their feet and produced one of the all-time classics. The fight was so good, Dana booked a rematch a couple of years later, which Hendo also won, although not nearly as close. Who was your favorite fighter from this era? The Zombie and Dustin are up next. The Korean Zombie, called so due to 
due to his refusal to give up, much like Justin, took on a young Dustin Poirier back in 2012 in a fight for the ages. The pair clashed in the main event, with Young locking in a DR to choke to submit Dustin in the fourth round. But this only tells half the story. The previous three rounds were a mixture of high-level striking, excellent scrambles, and some top-class sub-attempts, in a fight which could really have gone either way at any point. But the zombie showed just why he was christened with his moniker, eating some huge shots from Dustin and dishing out the punishment of his own. The finish itself is rare enough, as you don't often see a DRJ, unless you happen to be Tony Ferguson, that is. Check it out now! Entering top 3, we have John and Gus. Stick around. The best fight the UFC had ever seen until the top 2 came along, the light heavyweight battle from 2013 pitted arguably the MMA GOAT against an up-and-comer many were pretty excited about. However, Jones was still expected to dispatch the big Swede with minimal fuss, but it didn't quite play out that way. As Gustafson gave Jones easily the hardest of his career, many claimed after the bout that the big Viking had been robbed. But as the saying goes, if you take a shot at the king, you best not miss. And ultimately, Gus failed to take him out. It resulted in one of the best back and forth scraps we've ever seen. However, it's resulted in one of the best back and forth scraps we've ever seen, however. So we're kind of glad Alex didn't manage to KO him from a purely selfish point of view. How did you score it? At two, it's the ladies. Wiley Zhang and Joanna Ujoicek went to war for strawweight gold back in 2020 in a fight that easily won fight of the year. And it's arguably the greatest fight of all time. Both women came forward for 25 minutes, showing some insanely high-level striking in the process. The fight would become synonymous with the injury of Joanna's forehead at its culmination, as it had managed to double in size due to the punishment the Chinese fighter had dished out. Joanna gave it back too, and both fighters should be credited for bringing a fight to the table, which wouldn't have been possible less than a decade earlier, as the UFC only allowed women to fight for the first time in 2012. Zhang managed to take the razor-thin split decision, but both fighters would come out this one as winners in the hearts of the fans. And finally, it's Rory and Robbie. Stick around. UFC 189, July 2015. Robbie Lawler and Rory McDonald. The build-up to this one had been largely overshadowed by Circus McGregor, who was also co-headlining. But these two went about ensuring fans would never forget their second fight in an epic manner. From the start, both stood and traded in the center. And as a brutal bloodbath rolled around to the fifth round, Robbie finally got the better of a battered McDonald, putting him down to the canvas and breaking his nose in the process. Both were absolutely mangled at the end of the fight, and due to the non-stop action, this one is safely head and shoulders above any other fight as the best to ever take place in the UFC. Absolutely superb. What do you guys think? And let us know if we've missed any on our list today. As usual, thanks for stopping by today, and remember to tune in again next time when we'll be discussing all sorts of other cool bits and pieces. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye, guys.